Hello, this is Dalen75 Games. Welcome back to another Let's Play of Dragon Age Origins. I am the human noble warrior, Aiden Kuzlin, and we are leaving the gauntlet. We just got a pinch of the um, from the urn of sacred ashes. I assume it's the ashes of Andraste. And now we have got to go get Brother Genitivi and then head back to Redcliffe because the Arl, if he's still alive, he'll need it. The ashes to heal him. And hopefully that will all work. We can only hope for the best. It took a while for us to get out here. It's the dead dragon. The dragon that we had fought. Let's see, I don't know. Ruined temple. Is it this way? It's not the way we came, but maybe this will be a shortcut back. We've pretty much cleared out this, the town of Haven, so there's still that creepy boy and that woman that told us to get lost. Well, if, if the woman didn't put on combat armor and fight us, I don't know. Maybe she was a mage. I'm pretty sure we've explored every nook and cranny of this ruined temple, so we can go try to find Brother Genitivi. Hopefully, he is unmolested. Hopefully, despite the miracle that supposedly is the ashes, we will never have to come back here again. There's Brother Genitivi. Welcome back. You were gone for quite some time. Well, did you find it? Show Genitivi the pouch of ashes. Is that? Oh, there's some dust on. No, that's not dust. Oh, Maker. I'm not worthy to look upon. What... what was it like, coming to the urn, I mean? <laughs> Nothing has touched me quite so deeply. You are a very fortunate person. And so am I. Perhaps my research will not seem so much like blasphemy to the Chantry now. We must organize an expedition. There is so much history here, it must be studied. And... and pilgrims should be allowed to come to the urn. Hmm. I think I believe in sharing it. Well, yes, the urn of sacred ashes must be shared with the world. Ha! Let's hope there's a lot of Andraste to go around. I must return home. I have much to do. If you ever find yourself in Denerim, please visit me. I am not a rich man, but I have a small collection of interesting artifacts, and I do owe you a reward for coming to my rescue. I hope to see you soon, my friend. Hmm. Let's get out of this place. We have to get back to Redcliffe. Yes. Hopefully we won't encounter any darkspawn on the way. I also have to remember to return to the tavern because they sell the ingredients to make the better of something. Something's here by Haven on our way back from Haven. Concentrate, like we practiced. Now, fire! Dark spawn. No casters. Maybe we shouldn't have come out here. I guess they're training mages. They're training one mage. One mage died, unfortunately. As you say. Discipline and focus. The master says we will help in the battles to come. 
I'm taking these apprentices to Redcliffe. The first enchanter says you need every able-bodied mage for the war. They're young, but capable enough, as you saw. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, there's a bunch of guys to loot. Take the health poultice. Do we have no room? Just give me coin, please. Several gold each would be nice. Yes. Were they from Haven? I don't know why they'd be up around there. Okay, back at Redcliffe. Hopefully, this we won't need to return to help anybody. But the Darkspawn should be close by, actually. Grey Wardens possess the right of conscription. They may draft anyone into the ranks without question, from prince to lowly commoner. This is not always done without consequence, however. I really had no other place to go, though. Lots of knights here. Let's talk to Ban Tegan. You return. Might you have news? What is our all Eamon's condition? Unchanged, I'm afraid. We've tried more magical healing, but nothing works. As time passes, I become more and more convinced the urn might be our only hope. I found the urn. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. Pretty fortunate he's still alive. It's been about a, a month since Ostagar. Where am I? Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here. My husband. I'm Connor. Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then... It was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be... Easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? I need your help against the Blight, that will do. I understand. But regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts. Nothing more. As you wish, then. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. Thank you, Your Grace. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man. One who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. But you can unite the nobility against Loghain, can't you? 
I could unite those opposing Loghain, yes. But not all oppose him. He has some very powerful allies. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. But once everyone learns what he's done... I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. Hmm. You intend to put Alistair forward as king? Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet, a gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. What's stopping Loghain from just attacking Redcliffe? Why do you think he had me poisoned? He wanted me gone without having to confront me directly. If I call for a landsmeet, refusing the compromise and attacking Redcliffe will only support our accusations. I'm sure he'd rather I died from the poison. Had the demon not interfered, that's exactly what would have happened. Hmm. <laughs> Ironically. Uh, what if we defeated him in battle? Unless we convince some of Loghain's allies to abandon him, that's not likely to happen. Our army is not large enough. As a Grey Warden, you may gather allies to you, but we need those forces to face the Darkspawn, not to battle against our own. Do you think this Landsmeet idea will work? That depends. If we cannot get a consensus in the Landsmeet for Alistair, we cannot afford to oppose Loghain either. Does that mean Loghain could win? A man who killed his own king? Who has gone mad with power? Perhaps. We must see that he does not. What if we support Loghain? I hope that's a joke. I hope it does not come to that. If you are suggesting surrender, consider that he has already sought your death. You think he will spare you? That's just knowing a thought. what you know? Just a thought. What about the Darkspawn? Ferelden must stand united to defeat the Darkspawn. A fractured nation will not defeat the Blight, even given my army and those gathered with your treaties. Wouldn't it be easier to simply to kill Loghain? I'm not sure that would help our cause. We would become the criminals, and our accusations would become excuses. Furthermore, I'm not even certain where Loghain might be. Seems we have little choice. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord, other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I have done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? He confronted the demon in the Fade and saved Connor's life. Thus spared my wife from offering herself as sacrifice as well, I understand. But has he done all this just to save his own skin? And what would you have me do? 
As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is strained. Give him to the Circle of Magi. True enough, and wisely said. Jalan, I hereby turn you over to the Tower of the Circle of Magi. May the Maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. Perhaps he should now, be... Now, back to the matter of the Landsmeet. It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the Landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde. It's going to say that uh, maybe they should make Jawan a Tranquil if he's... He's basically in a... He's a Blood Mage. He's a Maleficar. And he's on the run. Okay, so we need strength. And then we're going to have to go after dexterity. We need a couple more willpower as well. I can... I've never actually gotten this Reaver yet. Plus one constitution. <laughs> oh, wild. Well, I don't want to become a chemp Templar, and I don't really want to become a Berserker, so we'll just keep that as it is. And we can't get any more attacks, so we really have only Motivate. The champion inspires allies to attack with renewed vigor. The rally talent now increases attack in addition to its defense bonus. I have another one, another talent. But I have no use for it at all, actually. Damn it. Nope, no use. I need to... I can put on the armor I've been waiting for this whole time. Blood Dragon, Plate Helmet. Plus 10 health. Blood Dragon, Plate Gauntlets. Blood Dragon, Plate Boots. A lot more armor. And Blood Dragon, Plate... Six defense and plus thirty health. There. Uh looks like a cross between Mass Effect and <laughs> Mass Effect meets Dragon's Age. We definitely have some enchantment to do. Well, my armor should go right up thirty two and my defense is eighty five. What is Alistair in the King's armor? I have more armor than him and more defense. Nice. But he's got better chances to just outright dodge attacks. Okay, so it would appear that we're done. We have... A, still have a lot of quests to do. Favorites for interested party. Chanter's board. Well, we have to go out to the village. Mage collect the Blackstone Irregulars. Notices of death. Yes, I know all about that. Uh, the Blight. Okay, so we've completed one of three uh, gathering of the, the armies. So we still have the Dwarves and the Elves to go after. Oh, one of four. We've got the Mages on our side, too. So that's about halfway done. Until we can confront the Darkspawn. But dealing with Loghain is an entirely different matter. It's like we're facing two different armies. And we can... I don't know if our allies, the Dwarves and the Elves and the Mages, will fight Loghain's army. I think they're, they're just, just there to fight the Darkspawn. Training troops. Hail Grey Warden. Okay, let's go to the village. Darkspawn have gone past Lothering. They're going into the Ban. The Banorn. Where are we? Yeah, I've got to go get that uh, ingredients. Pretty important. Otherwise, we'll be stuck with only constructing the uh, lesser health poultice. Oh. Are you the guy that was in... I remember this. Move along, friend. 
Very well. Thank you. He was one of the, the fellows for the Mage's Collective. He he is uh, collecting lyrium. I guess as a form of bribe? Of bribe? Let's go see Lloyd again. Lloyd, you have what I want. If it isn't the hero of the day, what can I get you? See what you have. Right. I've got some supplies, too, in case you're interested. That's what I'm With interested in. With the store closed down, it doesn't hurt to pick up some of the slack, eh? Okay, so he's selling health poultice. 72. It's good. It's not that... Oh, my inventory's full. Well, now's my chance to sell things, and I'm going to get the health poultice. So, uh, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thanks for watching, and... More to come. Don't forget to subscribe.